Howdy everybody and thanks for joining me on Outside with Jeff. Today I thought we'd do a real quick garden tour. It's April 22nd, 2023. We have converted several of our garden areas to a mulch covered bed to really uh, keep the weed pressure down. So here's gonna be our future corn plot. We'll be planting corn here in a few weeks. We have a little bit of weed pressure coming up up there. Sprayed some homemade weed killer made of Dawn, vinegar and uh, salt. And here we have some cauliflower and some cabbage plants. We just planted those about four days ago and put some organic fertilizer at the time of planting. We have volunteer spinach plant. We got some red Russian kale here. And then here we have planted about uh, 120 Patterson onions from Dixondale. They're supposed to store for about eight months. So we've got about 120 of those planted in this bed. Got two of our blueberry plants here. We had a third one here. It did not survive the winter. Two of them came back right here, so we're really happy about that. This will be our watermelon patch. We'll get that planted here in another two weeks. We have another blueberry plant here. It's doing great. Survived the winter. And here we have in this bed, we have red rose from kale. These first three rows, I just planted Swiss chard in this row. Just planted Swiss chard here. We have some dinosaur kale and three more rows of Swiss chard here. This was corn salad. It's going to seed. We're going to be ripping it up out of the ground and planting some more Swiss chard or kale or something. I haven't really determined yet, but we've got time to figure that out. We'll be ripping that out later on today. So far, I'm not 100% come to a conclusion on if I like this mulch thing or not, but I did not incorporate it into the soil. And as you can see, we're not having any yellowing uh, on the leaves over here. So I don't think we're getting any locked up nitrogen issues. Um, that's more when you incorporate the mulch into the soil. So this is just literally a top layer mulch. So I don't think we're having any problems. Got a blueberry plant here with a little bit of growth here. Looking good, looking great, looking great. That one didn't make it. This one didn't make it and this one's doing great. So I think we lost about three blueberry plants. Don't have anything planted in tires yet. That'll come later on down the line. I've already worked up this soil, so I'm not doing the mulch on everything. I've got this worked up, and as you can see, um, got tomato cages out. Under those uh, buckets, or those milk crates rather, I have some tomatoes planted. Got some more Patterson onions over here in our, um, in our far south bed. Uh, actually, no, that would be a far west bed, sorry. Uh, I've got another 40 or so onions here, so we have about 160 onions planted in total. And then here, the dark areas, I planted some contender bush beans earlier today. We've got five rows of those planted. And then once those emerge and they're about three inches or four inches tall, I'm going to be planting more bush beans here. And we're just going to keep rotating bush beans in and out here. Uh, this bed here, the area that doesn't have anything going on yet, those will be more tomato plants. And then in front of the tomato plants here, those will be my pepper. That's my pepper garden. And then right over here, this is the potato patch. This, is, These are red potatoes, uh, red Pontiacs that I've been saving my own seed. This is the third year that I've grown from the seed we've saved. So I've not had to buy seed potatoes in the last three years. Uh, just harvest them. We eat what we want to eat. And I save a handful in the basement on a rack, let them sprout, let them do their own thing. And then I plant them when the time comes. So, well, that's all we've got going on right now in the garden. So this here is uh, this week's garden tour. But I'm uh, hoping here in a couple more weeks I'll have more things to fill you in on. But until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching.